I'm gonna go over things fairly quickly in this video here because this video is actually meant to go with a blog that I'm uh, writing that I wrote a free lesson on how to solo of diminished seven chords used as passing chords using the diminished seven arpeggio. So I'm gonna go over things quickly here because all the stuff is explained in the blog that this video is gonna be posted in uh, on my website. So first of the mini seven arpeggio looks like this. So let's say C sharp the mini seven. So you have so that's the mini seven arpeggio. This chord repeats itself every three frets. So when you go three frets up, you get exactly the same fingering. Three frets up, same fingering again. And so on. So same thing and repeats itself every three frets because the May 7 chord is a symmetrical chord. Again, it's a lot of stuff to talk about. All the stuff is on my in the free lesson on my website. So let's move on. Let's have a chord progression, for example, C, go to C sharp the mini 7, go to D minor 7, go to G7, go to C sort 1, then passing the mini, uh, sorry, the mini 7 chord used as a passing chord. C sharp the mini 7, go to D minor 7. Going to G7, going to C. So over the C, the D minor, and the G chord, all chords over C major scale, you could play any C major scale finger you know, or any arpeggio of C, D minor, and G, or uh, A minor pentonic scale. And then, of course, over the C sharp passing chord, you'll play the C sharp diminished 7 uh, arpeggio. It's one of the options, and since that's what the blog is about, so that's what you'll be playing here. So, so the way this, how this works, so let me just like, Give you an example of the chord. D Constantly playing lines over this chord. Then. It's the main 7 arpeggio over the C sharp main 7 chord, then D minor. Then G7. So another chord progression will be C, going to F, 1, 4, S sharp diminished 7 chord used as a passing chord to the 5 chord, so you get 1. Let's say I do 1 bar each. Back to the 1 chord, so C, F, S sharp diminished 7, G. So same here, so over the C, the F and the G chord, all chords over C major scale, you could just play the arpeggios of these three chords, or the arpeggios of these three as, may, as uh, seventh chord, so you could play C major 7 arpeggio, F major 7 arpeggio, G7 arpeggio, you could play A minor penton scale, over all of them, you could actually also play D minor penton scale, but that's another topic, uh, minor penton substitution. So of course over the F sharp, the major 7 chord, you will play F sharp, the major 7, which is... So same deal, so you'll solo basically to give you an example with all the options I just talked about. So to give you an example. So on. So um, again, the blog makes all the stuff make sense. I know I went over things fairly quickly. Um, have fun with this and definitely go check out the blog to see how, what exactly this I was doing, how exactly all the stuff works. 